Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the ML Hub. In this video, we will discuss the books, resources and the subject weightage for uh, GATE DA exam. So uh, coming to the GATE uh, subjects, uh, which are there in GATE DA syllabus. So we have these eight subjects overall, uh, probability statistics, calculus and optimization and linear algebra. These three are mathematics. And in GATE DA, there is no strict boundary for maths. Like in GATE CS, we have 13 marks fixed for mathematics, but in GATE DA, uh, just the math section can go up till 40, 50 marks. Okay, so I will discuss the subject weightage as well for 2025 and 2024 at the end of the video. So like just watch the video completely. And then we have programming data structures algorithms and DBMS and warehousing. So these two are uh, same from gate CS uh, syllabus as well. So those who are writing CS and DA both, uh, generally these two subjects you'll know from your uh, CS preparation as well. Then we have machine learning and artificial intelligence. These are purely uh, gate DA subjects. And then aptitude. So the weightage of aptitude is, uh, aptitude is fixed for all gate DA branches. Uh, 15 marks questions come from here. So uh, coming to textbooks uh, and the syllabus. This is the syllabus for probability and statistics. This is the entire syllabus as given by the IIT authorities. Uh, these are all the topics. And in our course, we have like divided them into different modules, like uh, for specifically for probability and statistics, there will be six modules and all these con uh, concepts will be covered. And generally we tend to cover like additional concepts as well, which we think might be possible, like which might come in gate exam. So this is the syllabus for uh, probability and stats. Uh, and the textbook which uh, you can like go through is Introduction to Probability and Stats for Engineers and Scientists. This is, uh, this is by Sheldon M. Ross. It is a standard textbook, uh, a standard textbook, and uh, even in IITs, when you take like higher level uh, courses, like 600 plus level courses, and if you take a probability course, the same textbook will be referred. Uh, and also, like to prepare this course, I use the same textbook. Okay, so like while creating probability and stats, I I have actually gone through the entire Sheldon Ross book, uh, just so that you don't have to go through. Uh, but still, like if you find difficulties in some portions, you want to refer a textbook, you want to solve more questions. Uh, you can go through this. Okay, uh, uh, so this is the textbook. And uh, coming to linear algebra and also like this textbook uh, covers the uh, advanced topics like uh, statistical inference as well. So for probability stats, you don't need to go to any other textbook. This one is sufficient. Uh, next one is linear algebra. Uh, again, all the, all the topics in linear algebra are covered in just one book, uh, Gilbert Strang, uh, like uh, starting with vector spaces, subspaces, and then system of linear equations, how to solve them. Then uh, basic properties of matrices, determinants, rank, nullity, everything, okay? You will find everything in Gilbert Strang textbook. Uh, we will be referring the same textbook for, our, for the lecture uh, classes as well. Again, like uh, watch the lecture, uh, lecture videos first and only for the topics which you find difficult and you're not able to understand or if you want to do more practice, uh, refer the textbooks. Uh, next is calculus and optimization. Uh, the syllabus for calculus is uh, like this. It's mostly same as gate CS. So for probability and linear algebra, there are additional topics like, uh, like the syllabus is very large in gate DA, but for calculus, it's almost the same. Just one optimization involving a single variable is an extra topic, uh, but that too is covered in the Gilbert Strang book. So there is a Gilbert Strang book for calculus and linear algebra both. And they both are standard textbooks like uh, but see, for maths specifically, uh, if you see the textbook directly without watching videos, it will be very difficult for you to understand them. Uh, you can try it once for Sheldon Ross or Gilbert Strang. Uh, trust me, uh, if you just directly go with textbooks, uh, it will be slightly difficult. And we make the lecture series in a way so that you can understand these books easily. So you can go through the books after you watch the videos. That will again like improve your understanding of the subject. Uh, so this was calculus. Uh, again, this book covers optimization concepts as well and actually limit continuity differentiability. But the uh, important thing to note, uh, note is uh, these books are like J level, okay, the foreign author books. So you need to draw a boundary like a gate syllabus doesn't cover the entire textbook. Like if you uh, start going through the textbook, that will take a lot of time. And that is why like uh, just see the topics uh, which are covered in the class and only for those refer the textbook. Uh, next is programming and DSA. Uh, note uh, carefully that in gate DA, the programming is in Python. Uh, there is no question asked for C or C++ in the last years and only programming in Python is there. Then you have basic data structures, uh, stacks, queues, uh, linked lists, trees and hash tables. 
then uh, there are search algorithms linear search and binary search uh, then we have basic sorting algorithms uh, selection bubble and uh, insertion then merge sort and quick sort so the syllabus is more or less uh, same as gate cs uh, gate cs has more uh, topics in dsa actually like you have uh, uh, dynamic programming as well there so here like uh, in the last two years no questions from uh, dpe uh, have been asked uh, they they are they, they they are stuck with the syllabus which has been given so you don't need to cover uh, dp uh, if you have to do dsa and uh, graph theory is important so basic graph algorithms uh, traversal and shortest path uh, this like uh, there is a like few concepts are common in dsa and ai both so you will see this uh, uh, graph traversal specifically and tree traversal in uh, AI as well. So it is very important because it is covered in two subjects. At least two to three questions have been asked in all years. So we will cover this deeply. And also we will give you videos for DP as well. Although they are not required for gate DA, you can go through them uh, like if you want. Okay, uh, coming to textbook for Python, you can uh, refer the book by Ryan Turner. Uh, uh, this book covers uh, basic python programming you don't need advanced level python for uh, gate exam and this book covers like detailed code snippets as well uh, generally in gate for python they will give you a code snippet and uh, you have to predict the output okay so we will do lot such uh, like lot of practice for such problems in the classes as well uh, for algorithms the like the uh, god textbook kurman again like uh, if you start reading kurman straight away you will not understand anything the algorithm written in Coreman will be like much more difficult, okay? And the pseudocode also with what we cover in class as compared to what is covered in class. Uh, but again, like if you want to have a deeper knowledge and if you want to solve more questions, uh, you can go to uh, Coreman. Uh, next is DBM, uh, DBMS and warehousing. Uh, here there are two different modules which you can see in the syllabus. This is the entire DBMS part, which is exactly same as gate CS syllabus and this is the entire warehousing part and almost uh, there is equal weightage of both uh, from what we have seen in past trends as well okay uh, so equal number of questions come from warehousing as well generally gate cs students think like they will only cover the dbms part but you cannot leave warehousing okay and we have covered warehousing in detail in our course uh, each and every topic it is very difficult to find a single textbook for all warehousing concepts there are a few data mining books uh, and we have gathered the entire uh, course from different uh, web pages and these data mining books. Okay, but the DBMS you can cover from Cod uh, Sudarshan if you want. For warehousing, we are not giving any single textbook here because uh, it will not cover everything for gate DA. Uh, next is machine learning, very important. Again, there is no single textbook specifically for machine learning which will cover all these topics. Uh, but what I've tried to do is uh, uh, I've given you two textbooks here. Uh, one is hands-on ML. It covers almost all the topics in the syllabus, uh, but it's more for uh, practice. So you need to learn the theory from the lectures first. Uh, I've gathered the theory from, again, different, different resources, different textbooks. A single textbook doesn't cover it. Uh, but if you want to do the code and learn the theory as well, you can go to this textbook. And in our lecture series, uh, we cover the uh, concepts along with piece of code. So you can think of it this way. So for every topic uh, mentioned here, we give you practice code in Python as well. So, there are, so that your Python gets revised and also you have small, small projects uh, for every topic in ML. Okay, and ML syllabus is big and it is one of the most important uh, subject in gate DA. So this is the textbook for ML and for deep learning specifically uh, for these two topics. This is under deep learning. And uh, almost every year they ask around four to five marks of questions from deep learning uh, or neural networks. And this is the textbook. Uh, this is the textbook we used to read in our, our MTech for like uh, foundations of ML course. Uh, and this is a brilliant textbook, but again, uh, only a very small, like four to five marks of questions come from neural networks. Uh, so don't go and read the entire textbook. But uh, this is what you can refer for deep learning. Uh, next, uh, we have AI. AI again has uh, three parts, uh, search, logic, and reasoning under un uh, uncertainty. So search and reasoning are covered in this book, uh, Peter Norvig. Again, like if you go to like, like ISC, IITs, 
all ai courses like uh, this is the textbook they, they will follow uh, we have read it in our mtech and uh, it covers the entire ai syllabus it covers logic part as well but the logic part in this textbook is not that easy to understand uh, if you want a textbook just for logic you can go with uh, kenneth rosen so this is a discrete maths book for gate cs students uh, you can go the like and you can go and check the logic part uh, from this textbook so yeah these are uh, all the textbooks for different subjects uh, for aptitude uh, again like you don't need any textbook per se you can just solve indian like you can just take any indian author textbook like rs agarwal it has lot of practice problems uh, whenever you get time just solve them uh, that is enough uh, don't uh, get get like it's not like uh, don't get too much like uh, heavy textbooks for aptitude like just rs agarwal will be sufficient uh, just solve lot of questions from that book okay now important part like coming to the subject weightage again this changes every year you can see a drastic change from 2024 to 20, uh, 2025 uh, in 2025 the paper was uh, more math heavy okay so they made the paper more lengthy and more math heavy uh, so the weightage of probability linear algebra and calculus was increased as you can see so around 40 45% of paper just came from maths and uh, see you cannot uh, make trends even if you analyze last 10 years data you apply regression you will not be able to predict what will happen next year this is just for reference ki how much weightage uh, the subjects have generally speaking all subjects have equal weightage in gate exam and uh, this is just to show you that you cannot ignore any subject okay so this is the weightage of uh, every uh, subject in gate 225 and we have given you the number of one mark and two mark questions asked in every subject as well so this is for 2025 and this is for 2024 cool uh, so this was about the textbooks the resources which you can follow and the subject weightage for uh, every uh, subject which has been asked in gate da again we got this suggestion from you guys in the comment section you should create a video on that so if you want more videos like these uh, more general videos let us know in the comment section what we should create next so that we can help you we will create such videos and upload on the channel uh, so like do subscribe to the channel if you need more content related to ml or gate da and if you want to subscribe to our course uh, it will be uh, available on the mlhub.ai so yeah uh, train learn conquer that's our motto uh, subscribe to the channel like the video uh, let's meet in the next session bye